Hey guys, Michael here. Today we're gonna talk about BTT or the BTT redenomination when it comes to swapping the old BTT for the new BTT. We got some good information, some great information actually coming from the Voyager platform where I hold personally most of my BTT and I know a lot of you guys do as well. And we also have some information coming from Binance. If you're out of the United States, you probably use Binance for a lot of your crypto buying and trading, right? Well, when it comes to these two, they have come out with statements talking about the BTT redenomination and that they will allocate, they will allow and have that supported on their platforms. We're gonna look over two articles today, one about Binance and one about the Voyager app, guys. But before we do that, this video is brought to you by Voyager. If you if you hit that link in the top pinned comment, download the Voyager app using your first $100, you will get $25 in free Bitcoin, guys. And who wouldn't love some free Bitcoin? And with the price of Bitcoin now, you might as well get it while it's low and sell it when it pops back up. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is all for educational and entertainment purposes only. But if you enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button, turn it gray to join this little family we have, guys. Let's go ahead, hop into the computer and see these two articles starting with Binance. So this is on the Binance website. Binance is, of course, the biggest world wide crypto platform, right? So Binance will support the BitTorrent token migration, redenomination and renaming plan. And if you guys don't know, so Binance will support the BTT token migration, which is a one to 1000 redenomination plan and renaming. Further details about this will be below. If you guys don't know anything about it, check out some of my old BTT videos. More recent ones, I talk and explain about the uh, BTTC and the redenomination that's going on with BTT. But so we scroll down somewhat here and it just goes into telling you here. So deposits and withdrawals of BTT will be suspended at January 17th, 2022. Please ensure that you leave sufficient time for your BTT deposit to be fully processed prior to this time. If deposited after this time, the tokens will not be credited to your account. So they will stop uh, and suspend all BTT trading and withdrawals on the 17th guys of January. So Binance will recover all old BTT balances and begin the distribution of new BTT, which will be renamed BTTC to all eligible users at the ratio one BTT to 1000 BTTC. So if you own one BTT, you will have 1000 BTTC once the redenomination and uh, redistribution occurs. After the token migration, the old BTT tokens will be renamed as BTT old and the new tokens ticker will be BTTC. Binance will make a separate announcement after the token swap is complete to notify users when deposits and withdrawals of BTTC will open. Thereafter, users will be able to use the convert function to swap their BTT old for the new BTTC tokens. So January 17th, they're stopping all uh, transactions and withdrawals of BTT on Binance. And from that date, it will start the redistribution, redenomination and renaming. And it'll be one to 1000. So if you own again, one BTT, you will get 1000 BTTC, but that will be later once you convert it, but they will be renaming it as BTT old. So if you own it right now, it will be renamed to BTT old until you convert it to the new BTTC, the old BTT or BTT old to the new BTTC. That's what we have for the Binance article. Let's go ahead and take a look at Twitter real quick, just to show you on the Voyager app, Voyager will support the upcoming BTT token migration. We will temporarily pause BTT trading on 9 p.m. Eastern time, January 16th, to no earlier than Friday, January 21st. Any BTT holders on Voyager will receive the new BTT token at a ratio of one to 1,000. So we're gonna dive into this article and go a little bit deeper and see exactly what they have to offer. So, support for the BTT or BitTorrent token migration. Voyager supports the BTT token redenomination and migration this month. 
Following the token migration, BTT will maintain its current market cap and increase its total supply to approximately 990 trillion from 990 billion. That's where you see that one to 1,000 ratio. So you take 990 billion, multiply it times 1,000, and you get 990 trillion. While bringing more functionality to the chain and platform. While the redenomination will increase BTT supply, the project intends to perform the swap while keeping the assets market cap the same. What Voyager's BTT token holders need to know, if you hold BTT on Voyager, we will automatically migrate your tokens for you and you won't need to take any further action. Below are all the details you need to know, expect during the token migration process. So. It will be changed to BTT old and converted to BTTC automatically for you is what this is saying. Token details on Sunday, January 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern time, Voyager will pause trading of BTT and the token price will remain static on Voyager. All pending BTT orders will be canceled at this time. This BTT trading pause will continue while Voyager monitors the token migration and network stability and works with our liquidity providers to turn trading back on as soon as feasible. We will aim to re-enable trading BTT as soon as feasible, but no earlier than Friday, January 21st. So no earlier than this Friday coming up. Voyager will notify our token holders and community when the migration is complete and trading is re-enabled on the Voyager platform. So with that being said, we know it could be later than January 21st, but it won't be any earlier than that. It'll be automatically changed to BTTC for you at a rate of one to 1,000. Meaning if you hold 10,000 tokens, you will now own 10 million tokens after the redistribution and redenomination. You take how many tokens you own and multiply by 1,000 and that's what you're going to get in BTTC, the new BTT token. Hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information. I'm excited to bring you, I was excited to bring this information because I have been asked several times about this. And here it is guys. So if you own it on the Voyager app, it will be done automatically for you. If you own it on the Binance app, it will be done. It will be traded out. At least the name will be, but you will have to automatic. You will have to manually um, swap the BTT old for the new BTTC. At least that's what it says. They may change it. They may not. Guys, that's all we have for you today. If you are still watching and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the little red subscribe button. Turn the gray to join this little family we have going on, guys. And also smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. I'm going to get out of here. Peace, love, and prosperity.